So I don't, I'm, I'm not going to bother like leveling up my team. Okay, here's what I'm going to say. Slash marker. This is Blood Bowl 1, even though it's Blood Bowl 3. And then I'm going to switch to like the online mode. And maybe we'll just get farmed by like some 75 year old like model train conductor from Leeds. Play hot seat, play against AI, play online. Do I need to, I guess I need to make a team to play online, right? Hang on. Play. Teams. Create a new team. I want to be the orcs again just because I know them. I'm going to call them the, the Bellingham Bruisers. How about that? And I'll, I'll be a balanced team. That seems nice to me. Hang on, we're asking the server if we have uh, permission to do this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is why we were playing offline to begin with. Okay, there, there's our team. They really, his name is Nargly Puss Pummeler. For real? Just a little bit of regex could solve this so easily. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to pummel it. I don't know, maybe. But then, wait, I thought they were two different... If they're two different uh, instances, why do I have access to the Smork and Hops here? It's clearly not two different instances. All my offline teams are in the online mode, too. <laughs> Those are unleveled? What does that mean? What does it mean? Hang on. I'm trying to do a friendly match versus your friends list is empty. Well, I didn't realize I had to be friends with them to do a friendly match. I could be friendly to a stranger. I guess I got to join a competition? Do a preseason match? Won't it be against uh, AI though? I think the servers are going down, man. This is, it's all just like, uh, I'm just getting loading, 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 loading. They need someone here to, to streamline this. Like, this is... I think that sometimes when you have like a tabletop game that's being translated into a digital game, it's like um, you, you could hire too many super fans of the tabletop game that's like, well, you absolutely need this and this and this, and you need this and this, and uh, of course you need this and this and this and this and this. And this. Uh, no, you know what you need is like for somebody who, <laughs> not, not to be rude, but for somebody to be like, normal people don't understand uh, what you're talking about. We need to at least smooth out the user experience a little bit and get like drip feed them before you get into like the, well, of course you can, oh, hang on, Blue's Banana, thanks for the gifted subscriptions, thank you. Like, I'm sure that maybe people are like, well, you can't just play a quick match because what if one person has a, a team that's worth 1.4 million total value and one that person has a team that's worth 900,000? I mean, sure, you get $500,000 in petty cash or something like that, but that's not enough to... You really just need like a... You, you need to kind of madden it a little bit. Which is like, you know, you could pick from like any of these eight default teams to do a quick match or you could join a league and start building a custom team and that, like... And also the other part of it that is driving me crazy is that like the online just doesn't work because now like we for a second we had like an element here and now we don't have an element so uh, and and we're just constantly getting like a loading screen down here in the bottom right and they said on Twitter that they're doing maintenance Twitter blood bowl three. We're going to carry out some maintenance on our Blood Bowl 3 console servers. I'm not playing it on the console. Servers will be inaccessible from 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. CET. Servers are inaccessible right now and not even, not even on consoles. All right, well, you know, let's uh, play some Hitman, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, I think it's just kind of like, listen, I like Blood Bowl 3. I, if, if Blood Bowl 3 has a defender, it's me. And I'm, I'm in chat. People are literally 
threatening bodily harm if I play any more of this game. And I'm like, no, actually, it's good. But, like, you need to actually, you know, like, I paid $20 extra in order to play the game 48 hours early. And then, like, in the 48 hours, it has been, like, semi-non-functional. And then also, it's gone down for maintenance two times during the only two times that I've been able to play it. Like, you can't, you can't launch with a $20, like, early access premium for 48 hours when it's not in a state where the servers are actually going to be up during that time. It's like, uh, I mean, I guess you can, but it's kind of, it's egregious. It is basically like a $20 donation. You're not wrong. You keep giving them your money. I gave them my money one time. You r slash gaming poster. What do you mean keep? I just don't understand the 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 vitriol is my money. You're not even a sub. If you were a sub, you could be like, why did you use my money for that stuff? This is literally my it's it's my net worth. Get a life. Look, Games Workshop has been making busted ass Eurojank games since like 1999 when I still had one incredibly large testicle that had not been, like, surgically fixed yet. I got nothing to do. I, I, I'm not going to be held responsible for the, the three-decade-long lineage of this company not being able to release something that isn't riddled with bugs. Plus, it's Europe. What are they going to do with my $20 anyway? Buy, like, you know, one Smithix? They don't even have Costco's over there. <laughs> 